Farm Guy here, and this is Module Trailer by North Modding Company on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map with this uh, trailer. Uh, this is 8.44 megabytes to download, five slots on console. We'll find this under Tools and Miscellaneous. And here it is, Module Trailer, $30,000. We have a few options here, yes or no, for mud flap decals. Uh, main color, we have all the Giants palette of colors, $1,000 to change that. Design color is going to be, I do believe, the, yes, uh, the wheel covers or fenders, $1,000 for that. Design color, we have uh, the chrome or stainless steel, uh, $0 for that. Let's see, what about yellow? Yep, $1,000. Oh, that's sorry that's the back plate that's the black plate it actually goes chrome color so any color you pick pink chrome blue chrome green chrome yeah so that that's that back light plate there rim color now now there now we're at the rim colors uh if we go silver no charge but if we go yellow thousand dollars there so you can really bump up the price on this changing all the colors just to be aware of that license plate it's going to be right there now description says compatible mods so this is meant to be used with uh, as the description says the trailer is built to fit all modules made for the platinum expansion volvo fh16 which i have here but it is not necessary to have this nor is it necessary to have the platinum expansion dlc it's just compatible with those so what you really need here uh, you don't need anything else to get this trailer however this trailer is specifically used or made to fit these following mods and i will show you them in my downloaded mods here the Beffa short wood swap body pack the lizard timber loader platform body and transport swap body i will put a link to all these four uh these four mods in the description so that you can go and take a look at them uh this is i do believe these are all by uh hr forced um but uh, as i said these will all be put a link to the, all these mods will be put in the description of this video so we have a wood loading uh two wood loading um attachments we have the timber loader another um crane type attachment we have a platform body now this one is the one i have on there right now and this uh, if you want to go use it for this frame you have to go with the eight by four frame to fit on this trailer at least fit properly on this trailer and then the transport swap body which only comes in one size and as you can see here it is a uh, well that right so there's a separate uh, review i have separate videos for all of these i have them all here uh oh where did where did the where did the timber body go lizard timber loader there we go there we go so we have the uh we have three of them here and i have attached one also already to the trailer over here now you don't need this volvo truck to tow it it's a pin hitch tow trailer as a matter of fact i will show you by using a standard base game man or man truck <clears throat> now let's get our help window on now the issue i have with this trailer is uh an issue i have with all swivel front axle trailers is they are extremely difficult to back up straight as i will struggle to dis uh well let's take a look at our options first we have l1 and x you can lower and raise so in lowering you might be able to be easier to attach 
Um, the backs on it. Ba uh, lights? Signals? No beacons. Uh, reverse lights? No, no reverse lights. So let's uh, take this for a little spin. So notice it's uh, four axles. The front is a swivel axle. Uh, all the there is no other really um, options for this. Um, it, this trailer has to be. You have to attach something in order to use this trailer. So it's specifically designed to attach to these different trailers. Now I will show you my really poor reversing skills here or I will show you the problem I have with reversing these types of trailers and show you how uh, how frustrated I get when I'm trying to reverse one of these trailers and oh And we'll, we're going to try this one time. Maybe I'll get it here. It's very, oh my goodness. It's very touchy. you got to line it up just perfectly. Hopefully we can attach it here. If you are not, why is it hitting it? Oh dear. It It is, there are, there, yeah. <clears throat> it is not what I would call a generous area to yeah well as you can see you have to be super precise to back it in between those two with that swivel trailer now fortunately I had spent a, a, a lot of time getting this hooked up so I can show you uh, once you have you can uh, unattach so it's unattached let's lower the oh now it's raised so as you can see there's very little space to get this backed up perfectly let's reattach it there we go and we can still lift and lower lift it lift it there you go so now that it's attached we do have an option to fasten the belts on this particular back also we have uh, depending that no matter what back you have attached l1 and r1 and left stick left and right you can adjust the forward and backward positioning sorry about the camera angle that's as best as i can do maybe i'll turn around here maybe that'll be a little bit better you can adjust the forward and back adjustment there of the the attached item and that's pretty much it so if you're looking for an all-around trailer to attach all of those different items those are the items that are listed in the description will it attach to anything else possibly but i don't know if they will or not i am just testing the mods that it says that it's compatible with so um if you're asking that i don't know but there you have it, the module trailer by North Modding Company on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.